What's up guys, it's Chris Heria. Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to start eating healthy and hopefully with this information, we can change a whole bunch of people's lives all around the world. But before we get into that, I wanna show you how we can work out our whole entire body super fast with this workout routine. Let's head downstairs. All right, so we're downstairs at the tennis court, a perfect place to start our workout routine for today. With today's workout routine, we're gonna be working out all the muscles in our body with just three exercises, making this routine super effective when you're short on time. Now, the best thing about calisthenics is that you're training with your body weight, and if your body weight is your gym, then you can take your gym everywhere. And that's why we're able to work out outside and downstairs today without needing to bring around heavy equipment or being forced to go to the gym. And that's my favorite training style so that there's no excuses to always get a great workout. Allowing you to get in great shape and be able to work out anytime, any Anywhere without having to rely on anything and that's one of the best ways to stay in shape be able to consistently train so with that said let's get right into this workout routine now the first exercise is gonna be burpees and you've heard me say it before it's one of the best exercises and a great exercise to start with because it brings up your heart rate and warms up all the muscles within your body and if you're doing burpees on a weekly basis then you should already be seeing drastic improvements in your performance as it is a lazy killer as well as improvements in your cardiovascular endurance and physique so let's start this routine with 10 burpees now, if you're a beginner, just doing this exercise alone for sets can be a full body workout routine. We're working every muscle in our body from our chest, shoulders, arms, legs, and core, and even your back throughout portions of the movement, all while improving your endurance. So whether you're a beginner or not, you should definitely be incorporating the burpee as well as the other two exercises that I'm right about to show you into your workout regimen, as they're not only gonna give you a fast, effective, whole body workout, but will also drastically improve your fitness capabilities. Woo, all right. There we have the burpees. Now moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna emphasize more on our lower body. We're gonna be going for pistol squats. Let's go for 10 on each leg. Now for anyone out there having difficulty with the pistol squat, you can always do them assisted by coming down, sitting in a chair and standing back up. You can also do as many pistol squats as you can first and then go into assisted pistol squats. Doing it in a drop set formation, that's gonna be a lot more beneficial for you. All right, now there we have the pistol squat. Isolating each limb, it's gonna be a killer for your legs, your core, and even your back. And moving on to the last exercise. This is gonna be a special one. We're going for 90 degree handstand push-ups. With burpees, we focused on our entire body. With pistol squats, we emphasize mainly on our lower body. Now with this last exercise, we're gonna emphasize mainly on our upper body. Giving us a complete full body workout, working all the muscles in our body with just three exercises. Three special, very demanding exercises that are gonna guarantee you gains. So with that said, let's get right into it. We're gonna go ahead and max this one out. There we have the 90 degree handstand push-ups. That's definitely a tough one. So there's gonna be some people out there that won't be able to do this. That's no problem. I have a progression that's gonna simulate the same movement path and muscle activation as the actual 90 degree handstand push-up. And if you do this one enough times, you'll eventually build up enough strength to do the real 90 degree. And the progression to the 90 degree handstand push-up is gonna be pseudo to pike press push-ups. With this progression, we're gonna be able to simulate the 90 degree handstand push-up, but without using all of our body weight, making it more manageable, but still engaging heavy on our shoulders, our arms, core, and even our back. Now I've already worked out all the muscles within my body in under 10 minutes. And for a routine that's only three exercises long, for me personally, I would like to get in at least six to seven rounds of high quality reps for each exercise. But regardless, even one round of this is gonna give you a whole body workout. And if you do this for just three rounds, you're gonna see major improvements throughout all your training, just from a workout that can be shorter than 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do this for a couple more rounds, and then we're gonna head upstairs. I'm gonna show you how to start eating healthy, to pair with your training to really start getting in the best shape of your life. Now don't forget to get this workout, as well as all my personal 
personal workout programs with specific goals in mind like getting shredded and burning fat simultaneously with minimal to no equipment, make sure you downloaded the Harrier Pro app in the App Store. We just released the brand new update. Looks like a brand new app. And to get full access to all the routines, make sure you become a member on HarrierPro.com. All right, now I'm gonna finish my workout and I'll see you guys upstairs. All right, now we're in my kitchen and this next segment is for everyone out there that's tried to start eating healthy and failed or for people that just don't know how. In my opinion, this is gonna be the best way to start eating healthy and to stay on track, making it easy to adapt and maintain this new healthy eating lifestyle. Now the very first thing you need to do when you've decided to start eating healthy is to identify all the healthy and nutritious foods that you love and enjoy. It's gonna be a lot easier if you're eating the things that you like versus taking on a new diet or someone else's meal plan when you don't like the food that you're eating. That's not gonna last so the first thing is to make a list of those things that you like so here you can see what I personally love to eat we're gonna start with our proteins I love chicken breast I love shrimp I love salmon and I also love red meat every now and then I don't eat it too much but I definitely have it at least once every two weeks and this specific cut is a top sirloin filet I chose that because it's the leanest cut for red meat now there's other things you can eat for protein as well especially if you're vegan or vegetarian but these are the things I personally like to eat so it's gonna be easier for me to consume this food and help me to stay on track and maintain my healthy eating habits now let's move on to the vegetables which also will have protein and other nutrients as well we're gonna start off with asparagus I love asparagus I love broccoli I love spinach, I love bok choy, and of course there's other vegetables I like as well I don't eat as often, like corn, avocado, and even potato. But something I do eat more often than potato is sweet potato. And here are some of the grains that I eat as well. Whole wheat spaghetti pasta, quinoa, and we have some rice right here. But these are all the ingredients that I eat on a regular basis. So now that we have that down, the second step is to know what your goal is and determine how much your caloric intake will be depending on your goals. You can be eating all healthy food, but if you're under eating or overeating according to your goals, you may never reach them. And as you start your fitness journey, your goals may change. And that's why it's important to know how many calories you're actually eating throughout each day. Using myself as an example, my goal is to stay around 175. Personally, I feel like I'm at my prime at that weight. And if I do add on more weight a lot of the other body weight exercises that I do they get a bit more difficult so 175 that's always my goal to stay at that weight so depending on my training my physique and how much I weigh that's gonna determine my caloric intake from time to time if I'm under my desired weight I'll be on a caloric surplus which means eating more than my average caloric intake but remember you don't want to overdo it and go way over your caloric surplus I would just be about 300 calories over my average intake. And that goes for the same if you're trying to lose weight, meaning I'll be eating around 300 calories less than my average caloric intake. And that's why you wanna to stick to the leeway of around 300 calories. If you're eating way too much, you're gonna be gaining fat, and if you're eating way too little, you may be losing muscle. All right, so once you've determined how much your caloric intake will be, depending on your goals, the next step is to plan when you're going to eat your meals. Doing this, it's gonna be easier to stay on track and avoid eating other unhealthy and unnecessary food or bad snacking in between meals. It will also help you stay on track with your diet because you already know what you're gonna eat and how much, giving you a way higher chance of success. Using myself as an example, I like to train first thing as soon as I wake up, doing some type of training for at least 30 minutes. After that, I'll get started with work, and then around 2 to 3 p.m., that's when I'm gonna eat my first meal. After my second meal will be around 6 to 7 p.m., then I'll do a real workout, and then my last meal will be around 10 o'clock. And each meal is gonna be around 900 calories. That's how I personally do it. There's also other things I do, like carb cycling. I also generally fast until 2 p.m., but I'll save all that for another video. The last thing I wanna leave you guys with is how you cook this food, because that's super important as well. You could be eating all this healthy food, but ruining it completely by the way that you cook it. Adding in a whole bunch of extra condiments with sugar, or frying it in fatty oils, this is gonna add hundreds of more more calories that, that you did not already account for and possibly kill the nutrients from the vegetables. So make sure that you're cooking your food as clean as possible and preferably grill it or even bake it for it to be most healthy and try not to add any sugar at all. As far as cooking the food, there are so many ways to make this delicious like sauteing spinach, but I'll show you how to do that in another video. If you guys need help counting your calories because you're not sure how many calories accounts for each item, there's so many calorie calculators out there that you can Google, you can find them on the app store and they'll be able to help you track and calculate exactly 
exactly how many calories you're eating with each meal every single day. Another thing you wanna make sure that you're doing is drinking lots of water. It's zero calories, and it's gonna flush out all the impurities and toxins within your body, as well as keeping you hydrated. And if you wanna stay hydrated on the go, you can always pick up one of the Heria water flasks at chrisheria.com. Take your water with you everywhere, keep it cool or keep it hot, and save the world from harmful plastic water bottles. And following these three basic steps, you should be able to start eating healthy, and most importantly, stick to it. And if you haven't already been doing this, this is gonna take your training to a whole new level. People think eating healthy sucks and feels bad, but your body actually feels amazing when you've been eating healthy. Because you're giving your body the proper fuel, the proper way, that's gonna supply your body with nutrients to not only help you grow your muscles and get shredded, but also allowing you to perform way harder, reaching your maximum potential in the shortest amount of time possible. And that's why you need to couple healthy eating with smart training to get the maximum best results. And with that said, this is gonna wrap it up for today's video. And just like you need to plan out your eating, you need to plan out your workouts too. And if you need a planned out, perfectly structured workout program with specific goals in mind, like getting shredded and building solid lean muscle in the fastest, most efficient amount of time, then definitely download my Harrier Pro app in the App Store or Google Play Store to get the workouts like we just did today, as well as full access to all my workout programs that are gonna have you not just looking strong, actually being strong. And make sure you go to harrierpro.com to become a member and get full access to all my workout programs. So so if you enjoyed the video, then please smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about and definitely share this video with a friend that's trying to start eating healthy. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because I post every single Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you comment within 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some free hairy apparel. Now for more of my content during the week, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want to be a part of that, then make sure you're following me on IG. And for everyone that loves the music in the videos, make sure you're following me on SoundCloud. That's soundcloud.com slash Chris Heria. I'm going to be posting all my latest tracks there. And lastly, before I go, we have some brand new items in the Heria shop, like the Heria Massage Gun. For everyone out there training hard, you need to take your recovery to the next level. So do that with the Heria Massage Gun. They're sleek, they're silent, and they're powerful. Rejuvenating and recovering your body to get you back to training hard each day. Pick one up at chrisheria.com. And with that said, I'll see you guys next Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love. Peace out. Guys.